All right, welcome back. Joining us in studio today, we have Anita Bagno, DLU, and Charles Hi. Broussard with uh, the Lafayette Police Association. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Of course. So you're here to talk about Rally for Rosas. Go ahead and tell us about this. This is our first um, annual benefit we're doing. Uh, this one is for Rally for Rosas. As um, you're aware, he was injured on the line yeah. of duty while working security downtown. So this is a way we're trying to raise some money and get back from the community um, to help him offset some of his costs. Yeah. He does have his actual full salary um, when it comes to being on sick leave. But prior to sick leave, usually officers work off duty security and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And they get accustomed to living with that. Yeah. So the benefit is, is actually set up to actually help him be able to live, you know, the way he was living and provide for his family, the way he was providing prior to his injury. I love that you guys are kind of teaming up with uh, downtown to put on this fundraiser. Anita, what, what made you want to jump in and be like, you know what, let's do it here? So President Broussard reached out to us and said, we want to do something for our Officer Rosas and his family. And we said, well, we're pretty good at throwing events. So yeah. good, mu uh, good music, good food for a really great cause, something that's important in our community, our police officers who protect us each and every day. It was a no-brainer for us. And yeah. so we're really excited to partner with the police association, looking forward to continuing this tradition on so that they can build up a reserve fund for officers if unfortunately they yeah. do get injured in the field, um, that we can be prepared to help their families uh, keep their standard of living going. I think that's a great idea to kind of build up a reserve if for something like this were to happen again. What's the date, time, location for all of this? I'm gonna handle it, you got it? So. Um, we do plan on doing this annually. This is our first one. We are learning as we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had a, lot, had a lot of help from Mr. Nita in downtown life yeah. yet. Um, as far as the time and date, we're not too sure yet. We do want to do it annually though. Um, and then like she said, we basically want to build up that fund. Hopefully, you know, with God's grace, we don't have another yeah. officer injured. But in case we do, we want to be able to have the funds available to better support them and their family while right. they go through their trying times. Yeah. So this first one is this coming Saturday, yeah, November the 5th. Uh, you can see that we kick off with lots of music uh, starting at noon time, and we'll go through the early evening. Chubby Carrier, Gino right. Delafosse, Steve Riley, the Molly Ringwalds, which always brings a great crowd. Good family fun, like we said, food, music, fun. It's $15 a ticket. And where can they get tickets? They can get them on Eventbrite, um, which you can find that through our Downtown Lafayette Facebook page, or you can get them at the gate. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us to share this information with our viewers today. Thank you all thank for you. having us. Of course, if you at home want to rally for Rosas, head to our website, klaf.com.